The next thing you wanna consider are is. As no, I, I promise, like, and even, even, it's, it's, it was. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So, in today's video, I will just be giving you guys a few pointers, a few tips on how to pick the perfect accommodation in university. So either you're a first year, where you're getting into first year, next year, or you are someone that wants to change their accommodation, or you are just a person that's looking into accommodation, this video will enlighten you on things that you need to consider before making your move. So if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and if you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up although miss rona is still running around it's good to be hopeful that campus will be open next year and if campus is open next year then you need to have your accommodation ready so the first thing that you need to consider when picking your accommodation the distance distance is super important if you know you're not a punctual person there's no reason that you should be staying 20 minutes away from campus because that just means you're gonna miss your semester test you're gonna miss some classes because you were sleeping or you were just not punctual so if you know you struggle with punctuality then it's best to stay on campus than to stay in private accommodation so with distance also the other thing is although it's cheaper to get a place that's like way far from campus because i mean it's all a demand and supply thing you know like Places that are like way far from campus have less demand than the places that are on campus. So those places are cheaper. Although it's cheaper to stay far away from campus, which is a good thing. You also need to consider your safety. We all know about gender-based violence in South Africa. So are you willing to compromise on your safety for a cheaper place? That's something that you really need to ask yourself because if you're going to write most semester tests, are written at 5 p.m. at night and you probably finish at 7 p.m. You need to ask yourself, are you willing to walk home alone at 7 p.m.? Especially if you are a female, it's best to stay closer to campus. Another thing with distance is that if you stay far, you are going to have to have a nine to five on campus because it's not like you can rush back home and pick up your lunch or you can rush back home for something that you forgot. The next thing you wanna consider are is as no, I, I promise, like, and even even it's it, it was it's been a weird it's, these past few months. And me, the rules of the place that you will be staying. If you know you are an absolute rebel and you struggle to comply with rules, there is absolutely no reason you should be staying on campus because you will get expelled from campus. I don't think you want that on your record, so. If you know you can't follow up minimal rules and you struggle with that and there's absolutely no reason for you to be staying on campus it's just best for you to stay in private accommodation you're in private accommodation you can party after party you can make noise you can do whatever you want but in but when you stay on campus um there are gonna be some rules so if you know you want to live your best life like your absolute best life in university then i would suggest that you stay in private accommodation than to stay on campus so by now you should probably have a rough idea of how much your parents or your sponsors are willing to spend on your accommodation so accommodation in pretoria slash in hatfield ranges from plus or minus 2,500 rand to plus or minus 7,000 rand. So there is literally accommodation for everyone. There's accommodation that suits everyone's budget. So you should have a rough idea. If you know you're on a tight budget, I would recommend that staying on campus is best for you because you won't have to worry about all those additional costs like um, electricity, your water, your laundry, and all of Wi-Fi is one of the most important things these days. Without your Wi-Fi, you can't do your research. 
you can't access blackboard you can't hand in your assignments so wi-fi is super important and you need to inquire of the place that you are hoping to stay at what the wi-fi situation is like there because if you run out of wi-fi during the month you will have to go on campus to complete your assignments and all of that so you do need to find out if they offer you unkept wi-fi make sure that your wi-fi is sorted out because if you don't have proper wi-fi you are really gonna regret it on weekends you do need entertainment you are gonna want to stay in sometimes and watch your netflix so the next thing you need to consider is your furniture are you willing to start from scratch are you willing are your parents slash your sponsors willing to buy right down to your bed your refrigerator your microwave your everything are they willing to do that because if the finances are not there to start from scratch with furniture then it's best to stay on campus because you don't have to invest in furniture everything you are given you just have to bring your blankets and you are good and probably you need to bring a refrigerator and a microwave but as for buying a whole bed and all that then um it's just best for you to stay on campus if you can't afford that you also need to think of the long run in your three slash four years of your degree what is your plan are you stay are you willing to stay on campus for the rest of your degree or do you want to eventually move out to private accommodation if you are a person that wants to eventually move to private accommodation then i would suggest that you just start off in private accommodation because think about it in first year if you move in if you move on campus you don't have to buy all those you know your bed and all that and then now in second year when you want to move that's really going to create a strain than if you had already started off in first year and you are investing in your space as you go. So if your long term plan is to stay in private accommodation, then it's just best to start doing it in first year. Next thing to consider, this is probably the most important thing that is your catering slash your food. So you need to ask yourself, can you cook? If you can't cook, are you willing to learn because what tends to happen is that most people that can't cook will end up buying fast food every day and that's very unhealthy that's not only unhealthy but that's gonna strain your budget because it's not cheap to buy your burger king or your mcdonald's every day trust me that's just gonna strain your budget if you know you can't cook and if you know that you don't have time to cook it's best to stay on campus because most campus accommodation they cook for you so it's best to stay on campus to just avoid that if you know you can cook i mean private accommodation is best you can explore cooking you can eat whatever you want to eat the next thing that you need to consider is roommates it's way cheaper for you to um, share a place with a person because you can split the rental costs, you can split the accommodation costs, and you know, yeah, you can split the costs in half, which makes it cheaper for you. But guys, if you know that you're terrible at cohabitating with people, then there is absolutely no reason for you to be having a roommate. You are terrible at cohabitating with others. Stay away from people's kids. Don't stress them, don't annoy them. A study was carried out where we checked <laughs> how many people actually like their roommates. Anyways, no study was carried out, but for me, my rough estimation is that two people out of five people like their roommates. Like, it's very rare to have a roommate that you actually like. I was very blessed I had a roommate that I liked. But to just end off this video, I will be giving some examples of places that people look at for some popular places that people look at for staying at the University of Victoria. So that's your Hatfield, your Hillcrest, your Brooklyn, your Acadia. So those are popular student accommodation places. So when looking for a place, look within those parameters. Anything else I think is a bit too far and way far off from campus and i will be doing a video where 
I give out some popular or some accommodation that I know like they at in these areas so I will be exploring these areas in depth we have reached the end of this video i really do hope that this video helps you to make a more informed decision on your accommodation for university your accommodation and where you decide to stay does matter a lot because that is where you are going to spend 50 percent of your time in university so it does matter a lot if you did enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do join the family I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.